Water, Earth, Fire, Air. Long ago, the four nations lived together in harmony. However, everything changed when I learned to make my eyes glow and put an arrow onto my head. Today, we'll be learning how to make this avatar glow effect. Let's begin. You must be wondering, I have no time for this. This is way too complicated and way too difficult. However, I'm here to reassure you that this effect is actually very simple and can honestly be done in just 2 minutes. And the reason why this video is longer than 2 minutes is because we spend way more time trying to finesse the effect and make it look good. Most of the special effects is from Production Crate and no, this video is not sponsored by Production Crate. However, I don't mind getting sponsored because who wouldn't mind some free stuff? And without further ado, let's begin. We will be using the same clip that you have just seen and leave together. However, I want the effect to start around here after I said however. So I break it with Ctrl B and with the play hit over the clip where I want the effect to be, hit over to Fusion. With Media In One selected, hold down Ctrl Space and search for Planar Tracker. Change the tracker from point to hybrid point area, motion type from perspective to translation rotation scale. Then go to a frame where I'm facing the front and my eyes are big and draw a selection area around my face, my specs and my eyebrows to be specific. So we want a very high contrast tracking area. That's why I selected my eyebrows and my specs. And we'll click set on reference time and track to end. Go to the start and track to start. Click on create planar transform. A new planar transform node will magically appear out of nowhere. Now we will detach this planar tracker by holding shift and dragging it away. And we will add a B spline. Control space, search for B spline. Now connect the output of B spline to the yellow input of the planar transform and we will go to a frame where I'm facing the front such as here and draw the avatar eyes as you can see I am just roughly drawing the avatar eyes around my eyes and I'm just making it really big then I'll connect the output of the planar transform to the output of the media in one and click make my eyes glow and put an arrow on to my head. Okay, it's a bit out of position. I'll select B spline to shift it a bit to the left, somewhere here, and a bit higher. And I learned to make my eyes glow and put an arrow on to my head. Okay, we are pretty much done. Now we just have to change this to our own custom color. I will click anywhere and control space, search for background. I will detach this by clicking on it. Please work. Why wouldn't it detach? Okay. Now connect the output onto the green, I mean onto the blue input of background and connect to the yellow input of the planar transform. Now we have to change the background color. So with background selected, change the color. I will change mine to this CN, -ish, CN white color. Like this. And with background selected, control space, search for soft glow. So the soft glow is the node that is really selling the effect, that is making the effect look good. I will increase the gain to make it brighter and increase the glow size to increase the spread. Something like this looks awesome. Now, I will add a flicker addition. So I make the eyes flicker. So with soft glow selected, I will add a flicker addition. And I want it to flicker just at the start. So I will go to the start of the clip. I will click this. And I will increase the speed all the way up to 3.5, set a keyframe and go to maybe around here and I will decrease the speed all the way to 0. So at this point, the flickering will stop. Let me play it back. 
Alright, the last thing we'll do is add light rays. With flicker addition selected, search for light rays. And if I scroll out, if I zoom out by holding control and mouse scroll wheel, I can see this dot on the top. I will adjust this dot. So the dot will determine where the light is shining from. So now it's shining from the right and the rays are pointing to the left. I will increase the length, soften it a bit, and increase the brightness just by a bit. And I will set a I'll go all the way to the start of the clip by clicking on this. I will set a keyframe on the position and the brightness. Then I'll go to the point where I want the effect to stop. Then I will shift this dot here to the other side. So the light rays will change direction from left to right or right to left. Then I will decrease the brightness all the way to zero, so the effect will stop here. Everything changed when I then submit my. Alright, it looks awesome. Now, how do we do that for the other eye? Can we simply copy and paste? Yes, we can. So I will highlight all these nodes. Control C to copy. Click somewhere else. Control V to paste. Now connect the output of Kena Tracker to the output of the Merge 1. This will create a new Merge 2 node. And select Merge 2 and drag this to my other eye. Then I will select this spline to readjust the shape. Yeah, I think it looks good. And then to Okay, it looks damn good. Now I will have to add the arrow on my forehead. So I'll just select all this, Ctrl C to copy, and paste it. And again, I will connect the outputs. Now I will delete this B spline, and we shall use a polygon instead. We use a polygon because it has sharp edges, whereas a B spline will try to smoothen and curve everything. And we need to draw an arrow. Alright, now the soft glow is a bit too strong. That's why it doesn't really look like an arrow. So I will select soft glow, adjust the gain, decrease it by a bit, decrease the glow size by a bit. Now it looks more like an arrow. Let me just readjust the arrow. It is looking very good. And the last thing that we have to do is to delete this light rays by selecting it backspace and with flicker addition selected, we will add in rays. So there's a difference between rays and light rays. I feel that rays are stronger than light rays and it's better for this arrow specifically. I don't know why. We'll go to the part where we want it to be really bright like around here, I will decrease the blend and I will move this arrow okay I will set a keyframe on the blend and go to the start of the clip and drag the blend all the way down to zero and I will go to somewhere after my second keyframe and drag the blend around here. I'm doing this everything by eye. Honestly, you can just do it based on your own scenario, on your own click. So now, the, it will get super bright somewhere in the middle here and it will decrease in brightness around here. So we are done for our glowing effect. And one thing I would like to do is to sell the effect is to add a color character node to make it darker. Alright, here. So at the start, I set a keyframe on brightness, then somewhere in the middle, around here. I will 
I will decrease the brightness all the way down to zero. So it'll be pitch black. And I will increase the brightness again, but still darker than the original clip. So something like this. And let me play it back in the edit. Everything changed when I learned to make my eyes glow and put an arrow onto my head. All right, it looks damn good. Now we'll go to production crate. You can simply search for production crate and it will be the first link alright, maybe not the second link and type magic and the assets that I use are from force fuse this one I will click on preview pro content because I am not a pro I have no money to buy the pro content then the one I use is this magic force fuse one front because the force fuse must be at the front not the back and the other a set that I use is from Spells and Beams. It's Magic Flash 6. To download it, simply click on it and you have to register for an account first, then download. And it's pretty easy. Once you have downloaded it, you simply have to import them into your media pool. So it will be individual frames like this. I will hold down Ctrl and A to select everything and click open. And if you are getting all the individual frames in your media pool. You have to hit down to media and click on these three buttons, frame display mode, and change yours from individual to sequence. So sequence is the one that we should be having. Then I just place this on top of my clip and reposition it to my eye level. So on my right eye and I'll change the composite mode from normal to add to make it brighter. Everything changed. And now it looks everything so changed when I learned to make now I will import my force fill. This one. Control A to select everything and drag it here. Now obviously it's too small so we have to select it and zoom in like this really big. Everything changed when I learned to make my eyes glow. Yeah, now it's done. And I think the force view is looking a bit too green. So I'll go to color character and decrease the saturation by a bit to make it less green. And I'll add a glow. So the glow is under effects. So you click on effects, tap glow, and drag this onto the node. And we will change the Composite mode from normal to add. Everything changed when I learned to make my eyes glow. However, it's too short, so I just have to I learn to break this up. Control B, and I duplicate this by holding Alt and dragging this. Okay, so now we are finally done. Let me play this in full screen. However, everything changed when I learned to make my eyes glow and put an arrow. Alright, thanks for sticking around until the end of the tutorial. I hope you use this effect in one of your videos or something. It can be a really niche effect and I think it's really cool. Leave this video a like, subscribe and I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.